Well, we knew he had a unique piece of property. So much of the land that has been developed in Sarasota County or this area is old vegetable fields or cow pastures, has very little vegetation on it. I've heard the landscaping in those developments described as trees on trucks. We, we knew because of the native vegetation, the historic vegetation here, the, uh, the grand oak trees that we have, the mature pine trees, that this was a special place, a place that could accommodate homes of a grand scale, uh, model homes, custom homes, and, and have a setting in terms of the size of the lots together with the, the native landscaping and the, the related privacy that would really fit that size homes. We, we thought that was unique. That product really didn't exist anywhere in Southwest Florida where you could have a lot that really uh, was suited in terms of its size and, and, and natural landscaping uh, to fit uh, custom, custom luxury homes. And uh, we, we've always loved the land growing up. We've uh, enjoyed uh, hunting and fishing and camping and hiking and, and wildlife watching uh, on the property and thought our, our residents, uh, our future residents would as well. Well, a couple of stories about this area of the ranch, particularly just uh, to, to my right here uh, to, the, to the south, there's a, an old shell pit. Uh, it was originally dug for shell for the road base for Clark Road, State Road 72, the old uh, Sugar Bowl Road. Uh, and uh, as a result, one of the deeper ponds on the property always has water in it, even in dry spells. And I can recall being out here with my uh, brother Chuck, who runs our cattle operation, uh, with some live shiners and bass fishing in the summer. And he hook on, hooked onto this monster and uh, turned out it was about 27 inches long, 12 pounds, but it was in the middle of summer, if it had been in the spring when those bass were spawning, that, that would have been a 14, 15 pound fish. We couldn't get it up the bank. We, we couldn't lift it because it was too heavy. We were afraid to break the line. So he kind of held on to me as I reached down and lit that bass and kind of dragged him up. Uh, but it's, uh, it's the pond that now is part of the forest and the gazebo sits on. And I've enjoyed a lot of times uh, hiking uh, through the woods here and and hunting and so forth, uh, particularly for wild turkey. And uh, I'm not so much a deer hunter, but enjoy listening to the quail uh, call in the morning. And uh, you know, at daybreak here, you'd, you'd hear the various uh, uh, barred owls uh, calling at daybreak. You'd hear the quail uh, calling with their signature bob whites. You'd hear in the spring, the turkeys uh, gobbling and you can hear those gobbles echo for you know, a mile down here and it, it's, it's really uh, an area that's chock full of, of wildlife. The, the woodpeckers, several varieties of woodpeckers uh, we have here that uh, kind of light the forest up with sound and, and the owls as well. We've got great horned owls and barred owls and uh, just, just, just a lot of, lot, lot, of, lot of things for people to enjoy that, that love uh, nature and wildlife in general.